to the Just As We Are podcast. I'm Katrina Lelly, a wife, mom in recovery, certified life and transformation strategist, community cultivator, lover of people, and student of life. Each week, I'll bring you love, inspiration, share the harder things people are afraid to talk about, and guests who are willing to shine their light for you. I give you self-care practices and mindset tips to help you shatter the negative stories you tell yourself. Now is the time to step into the beautiful, loved, whole woman you already are. Let's walk this journey together. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another amazing episode, bringing you so much beauty, maybe some laughs, my hope is some laughs, and love and light. Today we are going to dive right in and talk all about what do you do when resistance shows up during growth? Well, here's the thing. Most of you want your growth process to be simple and easy and fun. And I totally get that. And it can be simple, it can be easy, and it can be fun. And it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be painful. We are definitely more apt to change. Did I use that word right? I don't know. But we are more apt to change when, you know, there is pain involved. There doesn't have to be pain involved. But when you decide, when you make a big leap, and sometimes it's not even a huge leap, but when you make a leap and you decide that you're going to do something different and you're ready, you hire the coach. Maybe you join the course. Maybe you decide that you're going to implement some new habits in your life. Whatever that looks like, you're going to get resistance. Things are going to come back on you. You're going to get that resistance. And then it's going to kind of be like, oh, crap, what do I do? And a lot of you, like 90 plus percent of you are going to retreat and you're going to go backwards. It's just the way it is. It's just how we operate because we like comfort and we have been taught comfort. Nothing should be hard. We want things handed to us. We get a victim mindset like the world owes me something and blah, there we go. And Instead of just growing through, you all want to say, well, forget this. I'm not doing it. I'm just forget it. I'm not going to do it. Or you're going to stay in a place where you feel content, where you feel satisfied, where life just looks pretty good. Um, it's not supposed to get any better than this. So why should I even try? Um, many of you have taken things and you've put them on top of yourself as far as, um, numbing out or escaping life. And so you've made it nice and cozy and comfy for you instead of moving forward. So for those of you who do move forward, who decide to hire that coach or join that course or change up their habits, whatever that thing is, resistance is always going to show up. I see this happen all of the time. I mean, and I can think back to even myself so many times resistance showed up. And I used to think that meant, oh, this isn't meant for me. I'm not supposed to do this. But here's the deal. When resistance shows up, it means that you're on the right path. It's an indicator that you're on the right path. Now, the outcome of that path may not be the same as what when you started, but you're at least on the right path to get you where God wants you to go, where the universe wants you to go, whatever it is you believe, okay? And so when resistance shows up, it's not time to retreat. It's not time to sink back. It's not time to go numb out and escape. It's not time to throw your hands up in the air and say, well, I guess I I, I tried, but this isn't for me. Well, maybe it, what if it was for you? What if it was for you? It is there for you for a reason. It's being presented to you for a reason. What does resistance look like? Resistance looks like anything that pretty much puts it back on you, puts pressure on you, uh, gets in your way. It's a roadblock. 
It comes in so many different variations and forms. It looks like people not supporting you, people commenting negative things on, um, on your posts, or it looks like f- even friends who are saying, you're kind of crazy for doing that. Are you sure that's what you want to do? It looks like um, an extra bill coming in the mail that you weren't expecting. It looks like you oversleeping on your alarm when you said you were going to get up at a certain time. It looks like somebody bringing your favorite cinnamon rolls on the day you de- dedicated yourself to eating healthier that day. It looks like all of different forms. They're little roadblocks that are coming up and coming your way. And so when those things present themselves, what is it you're going to do? Are you going to choose to move forward or are you going to choose to sulk back? And I can tell you guys, I promise you this, when you start out on this journey, when you start out on this path where you are dedicated to breaking down the walls that you have put up on yourself, when you're dedicated to getting to know yourself more intimately, when you are dedicated and you invest in yourself by hiring a coach, investing in a program, you know, um, buying some sort, sort of course, you know, a personal trainer, whatever it is, when you invest in yourself and when you move forward, you will get resistance. And that's an indication that you're on the right path. It's not an indication that you need to stop or give up. But like I said, the sad truth is many of you will. So what can you do to move through that resistance? The first thing I would want you guys to do is to ground yourself. And you can ground yourself in a numerous amount of ways because usually when this resistance shows up, it kind of feels like um, a two by four or a ball out of left field. It's like a smack in the face, like, wait a minute, I'm all so excited. You're gung-ho, you're ready to go. You're so proud of yourself for making this decision. And then bam, oh, here comes those cinnamon rolls. Or bam, here comes that friend who's like questioning what you set out to do. And I'll tell you what, you guys, love those friends, okay? Love those friends and you need to evaluate those relationships and friendships. And when they come at you with that resistance, it is more of a telling about them and not you. It's more of a telling about them than it is you, okay? So you might have to reevaluate some of your friends and maybe you have to move them to the outer circle. But the first thing you can do is ground yourself because that ball is coming out of left field or that two by four is all of a sudden smacked you on the head and you're like, oh shit, what do I do? Ground yourself. This is where you ground yourself. You use that pause that I've talked about before. Take a deep breath. (sighs) Okay. Pray, meditate, go for a walk, do some journaling, but don't make any decisions necessarily. Don't make any decisions because when resistance shows up, what your first reaction probably is, is, oh, okay, this means I got to stop or I got to redirect or I got to, and we end up making a decision in a chaotic mode. And that's not what we want to do. So the first thing I want you to do is ground yourself. Okay. The next thing I want you to do when that resistance shows up, depending on what it is, I want you to allow 24 hours to go by. So this is where you're going to let go. You're going to let it go. You're going to surrender it to your higher power. You're letting it go and you're going to allow that 24 hours to go by before you make any decisions, before you move on anything, before you feel like you need to make any adjustments. Okay? 24 hours. Then when that resistance shows up, celebrate it. You're also going to celebrate it. Now, I know that seems a little backwards, but you're going to ground yourself. You're going to make the commitment that, well, for 24 hours, I'm not doing anything about this, but what I am going to do right now is I'm going to celebrate it because guess what? This means something really big and exciting is on the horizon and I cannot wait for it to come. So celebrate it, okay? The last thing I want you to do is I want you to talk with somebody, not with a friend that you know is going to pat your butt or the friend that's decided that what you're doing is cray cray, find somebody in your supportive group 
that are that is like-minded, that are doing things like you, or they don't even have to be a friend. Maybe it's somebody outside in, in a Facebook group that you're in that you know is, you know, working through stuff and growing themselves to find that person and just let them know, hey, guess what? This is what came up today. I got some resistance. And that left ball, that ball that came out of left field, yeah, it's making me question what I'm doing. It's got me really nervous. Um, I kind of want to give up or, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, whatever it is, whatever's that coming up, but let somebody else know, because guess what? We're not meant to do this life alone. We are not meant to do this life alone. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you again, we're not meant to do this life alone. And so whether you put it out to one person or a Facebook group that you're in or whatever you're involved in, but somebody who is also in the same space as far as growing themselves that you are. So ground yourself, allow 24 hours before you make any decisions before you move, if that's what's needed during that time, depending on what that resistance is, celebrate the resistance, okay? These are in no particular order either, guys. Celebrate that resistance and then find a person, find a buddy. Um, it sounds so basic, but it's so simple. And there are definitely other things that you can do to help you move through this resistance, but these are absolutely important and core. Then what do you do after that 24 hours, Katrina? Well, hopefully by that time, the idea is that you have moved through that chaotic thinking, that fear that's come up. You've been able to really ground yourself and remember why you've decided to start this new program or to sign up with this coach or to do this new, this new habit, like, or why you've decided to start eating health, like whatever your, whatever it is, why, remember why you started doing this, okay? Remember why you started doing this and think about and visualize what's on the other side of this. Why am I going to move forward? Why did I make this decision that I made? What is it? What is it I want to create out of this? And what does this resistance really mean? Well, if I remember correctly, because Katrina told me, and a lot of coaches out there will tell you, it's because I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. And that's so freaking excited, exciting. And honestly, you guys, once by the time 24 hours has passed, that worry, that chaotic thinking will have passed. Have you guys ever been in an argument with your significant other and you get caught up in the moment and you're just like all heated up and you're going crazy and you're like, oh my gosh, this is ah, blah, blah. and you say these things in the moment, like, and they come out of your mouth without you even realizing it until they're out of your mouth. And then you later you're like, man, once the dust is settled, once the chaos is settled, later you're just like, wow, man, I really wish I wouldn't have said that stuff or made that decision. Because now that I'm calmed down and had some time to think about it, that's not how I would have shown up. That's not how I would have acted. So that's why I tell you guys, allow yourself 24 hours to ground yourself, you know, and celebrate it. Celebrate your freaking life. Celebrate the resistance. You are on the right path and find the people that you know will love and support you through it. Not the friend who's going to be negative Nancy or pat your butt, meaning the friend that's going to like jump on the, the train with you and is your ride or die and is going to, is going to tell you all the things that you want to hear. But the person who is going to love you and support you, be with you on the train, but also hold you to what you said you wanted to create in your life. Those are the people that you need in your life. So I hope you guys found value in this. I hope you, I know you loved this episode. I absolutely love your guys' feedback. Email me at Katrina at KatrinaLelly.co. Your feedback on the show. What do you guys want to hear more of? Are there any particular guests you want me to bring on the show? Uh, your feedback is so important to me. That's how I know what to share on the show and what is really resonating with you guys because this platform is here for you. I know you guys love the interviews that I do and the women that come on and so bravely and vulnerably share their stories. So I will catch you guys next time. Love you. Wait. 
don't stop listening yet. Just as we are, fam, I so appreciate my listeners. And you know what would be so incredibly awesome? Is if you just took a few moments, headed on over to iTunes, and left me a five-star review of the show. And if this episode resonated with you, share it with your communities. Tag me at Katrina Lelly. My message, my mission doesn't get out there without your help. Until next time. Thank you.